Well, it is definitely difficult to beat, first in many areas. So now we're going to hear from the Governor Yero from Kaduna. I think I have a, I have a presentation to make. Like a movie. Your Excellencies, my brothers, the governors that are here, honorable ministers that are here with us, Your Excellency Chief Ojoma Doke, members of the business community of Canada and Nigeria, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Well, I'm here to speak briefly about Kaduna State. Uh, Kaduna State is one of the, among the oldest states that we have in Nigeria. The, I have about five outlines to discuss here, and the objective, the objective is to initiate partnership and, strong, and provide strong working relationship with investment stakeholders, create awareness on the numerous investment opportunities in Kaduna, and highlight the government priority areas in investment promotion. The profile of Kaduna State, Kaduna State was created in 1976, it has a total area of 48 thousand square kilometer, area density of 130 square kilometer, and has a total state population of 6 million in 2006 census, and currently with the annual growth rate of 3.07 percent, has 7.5 million. Most of the population has an active use of 60 percent, and has 23 local government areas. One of the major occupations of the people of Kaduna State is farming, and over 80 percent of the people are in active farming. And the sector GDP is about 42.07 percent, and many crops ties produce in large quantity annually. It has a per capita income of $1,666. The sectoral investment opportunities that we have in Kaduna State are agriculture, solid minerals, transportation, tourism and resort, manufacturing and SMEs, power and energy, water resources, education, real estate, as well as health. The commercial agricultural site, presently the goal of Kaduna State is to move towards commercial agriculture for all year farming yields and sustain agriculture as a major drive a major driver of growth for the state economy. We have some of the ongoing projects or some of the ongoing initiatives that we have. Presently, the state is engaged in construction of agricultural storage silos, sales and supply of subsidized uh, farming inputs, and reactivation, reactivation to open more farming opportunities, implementation of numerous projects and programs that we are ongoing. And some of the opportunities that we have, we have fruits and vegetable production, arable crop production, aquaculture activities, livestock farming, etc. These are some of the business opportunities that we have in the agricultural site. We also have mineral resources, that is solid minerals, and we plan for the establishment of a center for the processing of solid minerals in Kaduna State. And some of the opportunities are exploitations, exploitation of available mineral resources, especially with the proven reserves today of clay, serpentine, asbestos, gold, graphite, and other uh, mineral deposits that we have in the state. Investment in large-scale industrial ventures and industrial clusters, local and international trade commodities in the state solid and liquid minerals partnership in the area of mineral processing. Opportunities to participate as a player in the logistics center, which will ultimately be developed into a prison in future. We also have transportation infrastructure. 
and the ongoing initiatives that we have is currently we are constructing over 31 urban and rural roads in all the 23 local government in order to provide access to I'm just starting <laughs> I'm going to spend about, five, ten, about 50, 50 minutes here <laughs> and we are, also, we are also engaged in other issues that will provide the transportation sector for our teaming investors. We also power, have power and energy due to time, I will just skip them. Then we also have tourism and resorts. This is an area that is, we are investing heavily on a private partnership with, uh, with other companies in order to promote Kangimi Resort and other polo activities in the states. We also have manufacturing. Uh, presently, we are looking for investors or partners in order to revive some of our companies that have been closed. Uh, Kaduna Dairy Company, Kachia Ginger, Ikara Food Processing, and Kaduna Poultry Production. And recently, we are engaged with uh, an Indian company in order to provide, to revive the Ikara Tomato Company. We also have a potential in housing and real estate. Uh, ongoing uh, development of Kaduna Millennium City and other uh, cities that we intend to develop as well as the construction of new markets in Zaria and Kapancha. I'm also constructing two, over three, uh, 300 bed specialist hospitals under PPP and other housing opportunities in Kagarko local government which is very close to uh, FCT. That is the map of the, of, uh, the Millennium City, as well as the other incentives that we have. I'm not going to talk about the federal government incentives because the Honorable Minister of Trade and Investment has already discussed about some of them. But I would just like to talk about Kaduna State incentives, where that we have PPP incentives, provision of infrastructure, access to land, expeditious uh, processing, guaranteed security. Then why invest in Kaduna State? The state with the highest number of direct links to other states, we have seven states and FCT. If you look at the map of Nigeria, the red cycle, the Kaduna State is, inside, uh, is in the middle and other states like Kano, Katsina and other states are within reach. Kaduna State is committed to provision of infrastructure, stable economy, gateway to regional opportunities, home to a number of financial institutions, arable land and for agriculture, arable land for livestock, and a host of others, which are opportunities for any investor to come and invest in Kaduna State. Some major industries in Kaduna State, we also have some of them here, uh, which we have mentioned. Then, Finally, I'd just like to... Pardon? Don't worry, don't worry. I'll just finish up. All these ones are some of the, some of the opportunities that we have and looking for partners in order to develop. Uh, that is the photo gallery that I have here. In conclusion, let us join hands on our drive to tap the significant potentials, create wealth for both investors and people of Kaduna State. On behalf of the state government and the good people of Kaduna State, I extend our warm hearted invitation to our would be investors to make advantage of the numerous opportunities that abound in the state. We look forward to welcoming you in Kaduna State. Thank you.